Hi, come on in. Sunday night. It is Sunday night in the desert and it's silent. All you can hear are, oh my God, like this hummingbird almost flew into my window this morning, a baby hummingbird. And that's such a good sign, I think. Carol and Hori is here. I want to talk about, hi, best gifts are, oh, look, I'm, I'm going to see later who's here because it goes by so fast. Oh, thanks. I washed my hair today and I have like all these sample stuff because I used to be a, a beauty junkie, like where I have samples of things that I'm just like not ordering anything now or doing anything. Gosh, aren't we all going to be ordering shit and can't we wait, just not wait to get into like stores again to get our stuff? So I sprayed my hair with this stuff and it turned out it was beach wavy or something. <gasps> Did you hear that? My, I said, can we just not wait? Can't we? We're all like so anxious to get into the stores again. And my phone just said it's 6.57 p.m. and I did nothing. So we have really good spirit in this room. Really, really great spirit in this room today. I want to talk about a couple of things. As everybody, come on in. Come on in. Um, number one, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be doing it. You'll see it on my Instagram uh, feed, not in my stories. But if you see Carolyn Horry here, hi Hilda Breyer. Hey. So um, I'm doing. It's called. Gosh, I'm so bad with knowing the names of everything, and I didn't write it down. But I'm do <laughs> I'm doing a Zoom thing. It's a free Zoom where I'm going to talk about intuition tomorrow morning, and Carolyn will post the thing. And you'll if she posts it, I'll read it. I did all I wrote down was Carolyn. I'm just really bad. You know what it is. I'm an Aquarian and I kind of disconnect from people. I live in outer space or something and I try to be, I'm very grounded in my practice, but when it comes to my actual world and collaboration and stuff, I always just like, I just go with the flow of things. So, so I didn't write down what Carolyn's, anyway, Carolyn will tell you there and you can look in my feed and at 11 a.m. tomorrow, if you click on the link, Carolyn Hori, H-O-R-I, you will get to register for this free event and you'll hear me and someone else talking about all kinds of good shit. And the main thing that I wanna talk about, and I'm gonna take questions in a minute, I'm using the Dolly deck again because it's one of my favorites, the Dolly deck. It turns out it's a new favorite. Um, intention is everything. So I also want to give a shout out to, I don't know if she's here today, Ellie Horner, who I saw her Instagram and she wrote something that I was so feeling because this at this time, you know, when we're, we're just, in our homes and you start reading about conspiracy theories and this and that and you start resonating to negative energy out there that's not you that's them so you have to be true to yourself and every and so intention is everything i don't know kind of what i'm talking about i'm putting it out there that when you try to do something you try to meditate and you feel like oh i can't meditate like that person can but you try that's intention intention is everything and I was part of a med group meditation today um, with my shaman friend, Diego. And in it, I the minute I went into it, and I'm not a good meditator, but five minutes into it, I saw him on a spaceship and he was shooting violet and emerald and blue light beams at the earth that was wrapped in white. And so I just went, oh, I could do that. And I did it and then all these spaceships appeared. And I, t I know that sounds so weird because I'm not a woo-woo, but I don't care. I guess maybe I am. Um, and anyway, he, that was, he, he said he was out there with his galactic friends. I know that sounds crazy when I say it. I was a journalism major and I'm all about objectivity. But I know from, I know from this world that there's no such thing as objectivity anymore. It's all subjective. Intention is everything. What does a shaman do? I don't know. <laughs> Google it. To me, a shaman is like, I don't know, a, sh a shaman, don't squeeze the shaman. That's all I think about. I'm just a comedian. What do I know? But a shaman is somebody to me who is the master of that full toolkit. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, you majored in journalism too. Okay, well, let's go to some questions. And um, again, I'm doing this thing at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, and it's going to be great. And I could look up the name of it later, but um, just look at my feed and look for Carolyn is in here. Um, okay, I'm going to go to a question here. Um, this I'm, I'm taking this question because it's really funny. Oh, this is another thing that I want to say. Um, if you feel like it, because I've been doing this for many months now, and I've never asked for payment, and I never had that intention, but 
I decided Stud Muffin has to go get a checkup this week at the medical center here. So we will be at the hospital. I'm taking him there with our masks on. But I want to bring gift cards to the nurses and healthcare workers. So if you have it in you and if I answer a question and you like it or if I don't answer a question, you just like being here. Um, Venmo, I'm, I'm on my Venmo. It's at Psychic Shirley at Psychic Shirley with my last name, Lipner, L-I-P-N-E-R. There's a picture of me there wearing a red face mask. If you feel so inclined and you want to Venmo me, I'm going to take everything that gets Venmoed and I'm going to turn it into gift cards and take it on Wednesday to, to this medical center. Yes, yeah, so, here, so here we go. Have I met the many? <laughs> well, obviously you're going to have more than one husband, Amanda. You just answered that question. <laughs> you just answered that question, honey. There it is, okay. Oh, the star card. You know what, I like that. You know, this is a dolly deck, it's so beautiful, look at that. What I see in that deck is that you possibly could have met the person because the stars brought you together. That's how I thought about that. So I just think when I go into that and I'm going into the energy of that and the flow from that card and it's like somebody brought us together. So I would say, oh, if you're dating somebody now, which I've talked about this already that I believe when we come out of this that relationships are going to be more intense and more geared towards commitment. Those commitment phobes are going to go, oh, I want something solid. Um, so yeah, I think that I think that you might have. But then when you said many, that's like a Freudian slip. So <laughs> okay, so but this guy is expressive, isn't he? He's very expressive with his hands. He's very expressive. And then I just saw like this makes me think of a chuppa. <laughs> I don't know if you're Jewish. You're probably not Jewish. I don't know. But it's like a tent. Like you're getting married under a tent. When you do get married, you're going to be married under a big ass gazebo like that. So I know that you're going to marry because I just saw the gazebo. And I just saw this little dog running through the grass. And maybe you'll hire me to do readings at your wedding. He's Jewish. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Oh, and you keep doing this, you guys. I'm doing these breathing exercises for my lungs. See, now that was worth donate to at Psychic Shirley Lipner. There's a picture of me with a red mask. And whatever donations I get on the Venmo go to, I'm, I'm changing it into gift cards for the grocery stores around here. Okay, let me go to questions. And let's see. I'm going to go to somebody I have not picked before. And K. Kane, hi. Will you pull a card for me, pretty please? Sure, of course. I would love to do that. That's what I'm here for. I would love to do that. I'm going to pull a card for you. I got very soft spoken when I got in your energy. Do you like Marilyn Monroe? I just feel like Marilyn Monroe. Or Jackie O. Feel very soft spoken. This is your card. Look, the High Priestess. Look at that. That's very pretty. That's like you're studying something. You have a path. Follow your spiritual path. Find your voice. Find your voice. Oh, and go watch The Sound of Music because that just reminded me of Mother Superior. Climb every mountain. This is a good time to sing because singing, I'm not going to do it because it'll blow you guys out <laughs> if I sing really loud. I used to sing like Ethel Merman. But you want to do everything with your voice right now to express yourself, not just expressing yourself because singing is fun, but we want to do everything to strengthen those lungs, you know, because the odds are, I got to tell you this, the odds are that we've all been touched by that virus. It's just not expressing itself. So let's get it out. Sing out, Louise. That's your message. That was all for you. Loud and hi, hi, hi. Oh yeah, you're singing every day. That's so, it has to be so good for your lungs. Everybody right now, hi. Climb up. Be like that. Like sing out. Okay. Next question. <laughs> oh, thank you. I just thank you for saying that. You know what the thing is? That my stud muffin has been cooking every night and he's making healthy meals. And I'm like so appreciative. But I realized he kind of put me on a diet by saying he would cook because he's cooking food the way he wants, which is like steaming and grilling. And I'm just going along with it. So I kind of like, hmm. It's the Corona diet. Let your let your person in your house do the cooking. I don't know. He wants me to be thinner, I guess. And he did, God forbid he t would tell me I'm too fat. I'd just kill him. Um, okay, so wait one second. Allison is always sunny. Will my injury get better? I'm sorry I didn't go to the box for that, but I felt compelled to, to say that. And hi to freaking Rican. I'm just, I'm glowing because I took a really, I had this amazing meditation 
with about healing the planet and then I took a really long walk. Will your injury get better? The emperor is right there. Mm -hmm. Look, that looks like an archangel right there. You really hurt yourself. I think, yeah, I think that you have to stay in your body though. The emperor for me is a head card. So I think if you stay in your body, um, oh, Malports, I'll get to you in a second. So if you stay in your body, I think you're gonna heal more. Go into your body, just go into your body intuitively. The doctors or whoever are caring for you may have a different opinion. Remember, they call it the practice of medicine and you don't want them practicing on you. You wanna go intuitive, like what, and then I think, yeah, you'll get better, but you hold yourself a little rigidly. Just relax into it, just relax. Everything's about relaxing. Okay, I wanna to go to Malports. And if you guys, like I said, Venmo at Psychic Shirley Lipner, if any of this pleases you, and I'm, t I'm buying um, gift cards for the nurses and uh, emergency workers. I'm taking it over there. Sud Muffin's gonna get his heart checked. Okay, this is from Mal Ports. Hi, Shirley, will I meet my husband on an app or in real life? <laughs> well, an app is real life. Well, you know what, I always tell my girls, and my guys that come to me that when you write, when you go on an app, it's really like masturbating, right? Because you're just telling a story of yourself. You might as just you might just be jacking off because you're just you can make up whatever you want. It's like a fantasy in your head. So I always prefer the organic way of real life. And this is what I say: Do your thing, do your wonderful thing, and your person falls in step with you. So we don't go looking for anybody. We just do our life, and then they show up because you're broadcasting availability through the love of what you do. I'm gonna have to do, you know what? It's called the rules of mating, and I promise you guys, I'm gonna do an Insta Live, or I'm gonna do a Zoom thing where you'll all be invited, and I'm gonna teach you all how to lock it down. Because <laughs> I've been married for 32 years, and I found my mate, and how did I find him? I was doing stand-up, and he was in the audience, right in the front row. I wasn't expecting it, but boom, I was doing what I love, and he was doing what he loved, which is to go to comedy shows, and that's, that's what I mean, right? But you, Mel, let's ask this question for you. And I have the high priest. You're going to find him in church. <laughs> you have to go to church. Honestly, the high priest would never go uh, on an app. So go on, unless it was on like a Christian app or something like that. What's that called? What's the one called for I love Christians and or I love Jews app? You know, the J date. And then there's the, there's the Christian one you guys alone. No, you're going to find him in real life. And I feel like you're, this is going to be happening soon. I may have said this to you before, um, and I don't care because it's all about timing. <laughs> but I got a number five around it. That's the high priest. That could be May. So that just could be like, ooh, I'm going to go hit the sun. I'm going to be walking. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get out of this, the four walls that are. And by the way, do this now. Like go for walks now or go sit on your patio in the sun. Stay away from people. We want to do social distancing. We don't want to be like those knuckleheads in Florida. I'm sorry I have to say that, but that's like crazy. But anyway, social distancing and go out and the sun is everything. That's why I'm glowing because the sun is everything and we do have the sun available to us. So Malports, you're going to meet your husband in real life. Freaking Reek and I love you so much. Um, okay. Right, Raisa Salim, I felt a spirit touch me as I was falling asleep. Eileen Enchanted, just stay away from those beaches. That's crazy. I wouldn't want to take that chance. We have free choice. I'm saying that we probably all probably are carrying it somehow or whatever. We don't have the testing to know. That's something I wouldn't risk. I wouldn't risk it. Like, I know I'm not going to get it. Like, you can go, okay, I'm going to go to the beach and I'm not going to get it. But you're really playing with fire. Okay, I felt a spirit touch me as I was falling asleep. Should I be concerned? What do I get? Strength. No, not at all. Oh, that looks like a Chagall painting almost, doesn't it? I think that's a beautiful spirit that was touching you. No, do not be concerned at all. Go back and you could even write me or I don't know if you have a session booked with me or anything. Um, and, uh, and what I wanna say is go back to it. How did you feel when you woke up? Did you feel good? Or I always get curious about things. Even sometimes I had it happen one time where I felt something many years ago and I just got curious and I went, oh, go away. If I don't like something, I go, go away. <laughs> just go away. <laughs> just get out of here. But if it's, it might be, you might be being led to something quite beautiful because so many people are coming up with, 
Oh my God, and I just got a text. Did you hear this? I cut my nails myself yesterday. Don't, I don't even wanna talk about it. I, I chopped them all off. It was very scary for me. I can't wait to get back to get a manicure and, and I'm paying my manicures double. We all have to give our manicures and hair people like super big tips when we go back. Okay, because we haven't been spending our money anyway. And if you don't have any money and you can't do it, just bake them brownies. Like even just bake brownies, just do something like that. Okay, so this is what I wanna say about spirits so just ask and be curious but we are living in a high vibration time this is a chance the world is changing there's no doubt about it so you called on something and go for it glow for it <laughs> just have fun just have fun i mean i know that it's hard to think about that sometimes because we're going to day 45 but just have fun that's what i'm doing and by the way somebody who has the name angel in their name just texted me when i was doing that and those are synchronicities i hold on to like like that's what i just that's like life is a souffle not a pound cake let's stay up here um okay now somebody's baking brownies Okay, and here we go to one of my favorite people. Is my future husband new or a lost love from my past? Oh, if he's lost, do you want him to be found again? <laughs> Usually when something's lost, it's like it turns up, like I'll turn up a piece of jewelry or the scarf and then I'll wear it for a few days and I go, oh, I, I didn't mind that you were lost. <laughs> You're lost for a reason. Okay, let's ask that question. <laughs> Um, the Empress. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful card with all the blue water behind it. Gosh, I feel like I want to say you definitely have past life with this person. But what I also think is, what do you think? What do you think? I think somebody from the past in your case could come back and want to do a reboot. Again, I don't know when this goes out. Venus is in retrograde. Retrograde goes back. So that means lost loves might be coming from the past. But just explore it and just go yes or no. Like I look at my stud muffin. We took such a long walk today around this golf resort and I got lost and he knew he's great with directions and I'm horrible. And I was like, oh my God, how do I get back? And then I heard him calling me. He was calling me, Shirley. And I went, oh my God, I heard the voice. And then I went and see, that's what you want. You want somebody who's, who's there for you. I have that, I'm blessed. Like, I want all of you to be blessed that way, and most of you are. And if you're not, the way to do that is to just relax, just relax. Not that we don't have our problems and our shit like that, of course we do. But I would say just relax and just know. If you're supposed to be with somebody, you will. And if you're not, you won't. It's just this lifetime, and you can get through it. And if you wanna be with somebody, don't waste your time with somebody that you get a no from. See how simple I definitely am going to do. Um, a show about I'm going to teach you guys all about relationships um, because we need new relationships going into this new age right we need somebody who we both can be microchipped together um, well oh, oh that's 44 Cloverdale surely you look fab what do I do about the guy who likes me well do you like him back <laughs> what do you do about him oh strength oh strength you know what does he like dogs? If he doesn't like dogs, I don't trust him. Out. Out. That's how, I don't know why I just said that. Um, okay. Uh, oh, my God. Look at this one. Look at these questions I get. Hey, by the way, if you got anything out of this today and you want to donate $5, $3, I don't care, to my Venmo, at Psychic Shirley Lipner. There's a picture of me there with a red mask. I'm taking everything that you guys donate and I'm translate. I'm gonna double it myself, whatever it is, and then I'm translating that into gift cards for the nurses at the Eisenhower Medical Center, for the nurses and healthcare workers in the ER. I'm gonna find a way to pass them out. Um, <laughs> bullshit microchip together. There you go. Am I gonna fail my music theory midterm? Okay, let's see. Everybody, let's focus on this one. Let's focus. Are you crying or laughing? Wait. Are you going to fail? Oh, the chariot. Well, the chariot says, are you taking that? It, and by July, you'll know. You'll move on. I don't see why you would fail it. I think it's going to be delayed, but I don't see why you would fail that. Why would you fail it? Did you not? That's all you've got to do now is practice, practice, practice. Like, that's all you've got to do now. Just practice. Um, okay. This is my time now is here. And so I am. That's it. Um, I'm done. I'm done, but I will be back.
<laughs> I'll be back. I don't know, not tomorrow night, maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Thank you so much for watching. My Venmo is at Psychic Shirley Lipner. I'm donating all proceeds. I'm going to double whatever proceeds come in and I'm buying gift cards. I just felt like doing that because I just see them working because the, the grocery stores around here are doing special hours for healthcare workers after. And I'm like, oh, I want to, I'm going to help them out. I'm going to do it no matter what. Okay. So I will see you Tuesday or Wednesday. You'll get the notice. And remember, remember, what did I say? Intention is everything. Intention, so try meditation. Try smiling at somebody who may not be of your political leaning, whatever. Remember, this is about not being divisive. This is about everybody being together, so try it. But intention is everything. Whatever your intention, whatever you intend to put out into the world. So sit out in the sun and just say, my intention is to feel the universe at my back. And then that's what happened to me this morning. It was my intention. Did I know Stud Muffin was going to say, take Irving out and put him on a leash and that Irving was going to go chase a jackrabbit and I was going to get jumped out of my, of my mood and have to go running across a golf course chasing my dog who's chasing a little bunny rabbit with a white cotton tail? No, but my intention was to sit there quietly. I love you guys so much. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. PST, I will be doing an hour with Carolyn Horry, and you can find it on my. Um, oh, do you want me to? Do you want to stay here for a second while I tell you the name of it? Because I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at remembering names of stuff. But it is. I don't know if she put it up there and we missed it. I have to go look through my. I'm never going to find this. This is terrible. Oh, here it is. It's called We Are the Way Seers. We Are the Way Seers. And it's with me and Carolyn and Deanna Dupre. And it's free. So join us tomorrow on Zoom and you can participate. I won't be taking questions. I'm just going to be talking about shit. But talking about shit is great, isn't it? Okay. Bye. Love you guys. We Are the Way Seers. There it is. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. Or come in tomorrow. Drop by tomorrow. Love you.